Big Bolt Pool. I have seen Mitsubishi's new pickup truck, Triton GSR. I have test driven the car and I would like to start with the interior and exterior of the car. We have received many requests for a Triton video on One Sock Tube as well. This genre is only available in Japan in the form of Hilux, but it seems to be attracting a lot of attention because it is selling quite well. The person who is cooperating with us for this interview is Mitsubishi East Japan Motor Sales, Omiya Branch, where I also buy Outlander and other vehicles. Thank you, let's take a look. The grade of this test drive is a higher grade called Triton GSR. The price of the vehicle is 54010 yen. I would like to start with the exterior of the Mitsubishi Triton. It has a bold exterior with this front mask from Mitsubishi called the Dynamic Shield. That glowing thing at the top is a daylight, and it's a triple set of daytime running lights. It has a U-shaped black panel called Dynamic Shield. It has the Mitsubishi logo Mitsubishi Motosh on the tip and the symbol below. The grille is honeycomb mesh and painted in body color orange and black, which is very powerful. And as for the lights, the blinker is a bean bulb. And now I'm turning on the low beams and fog lights, and it's like a three-eyed glow in the low beams. And the lower part of the bumper, which is also gloss black, so the texture is quite good. This place is also silver. It looks pretty tough. Approach angles are well secured. Then we'll go around the side. Body size of Mitsubishi Triton GSR is 5,360 min length, 1,930 min width, and 1,815 min front height. The overall width is 1,930 min, which is huge. This is a higher grade with over fenders, so the overall width is much different compared to the GLS's width of 1,865 mm. It will be 65 mm narrower. And the side lowers, the higher grade GSR has these over fenders, and the overall width is widened by 65 mm. They're piano black over fenders, and the texture is nice. The tires and wheels are Yokohama Geolander Geninity 4 tires with 18 inch tires and aluminum wheels with a tire size of 265, 60 or 18. These GSRs are painted black wheels. The base grade GLS will have the same design of silver painted wheels. And the mirrors are blacked out like this and you have roof rails The antenna is a stick type and the B pillar is not painted or it looks like something is attached to it. It has a matte finish. He said the outer door handles are also black. The rear outer door handles are also black and the upper grade GSR features these slanted handles. By adding this, the higher grades cannot be equipped with a canopy, a part that covers the cargo area. Please note that only the base grade GLS can be equipped with it. If you buy a higher grade, you cannot add a canopy. It looks like the over fender is gouged just at the fuel lid. There is something a little strange about the design treatment here though. This is what it looks like from the rear, which means it is truly a pickup truck and the rear lights are also bean bulbs. And it has the Triton logo, the Mitsubishi mark, and the higher grade GSR. Maximum loading capacity is 500 Kigiri, and it is possible to load up to 0.5 ton. We'll look here later. He said it has a rear bumper, and this lower part is also painted silver. The muffler is at, I can't even tell where it's on anymore. It has a bar for this kind of protection and a spare tire. It has a proper spare tire, not a temper tire. It's a ladder frame. The body is also very robust. 
Then let's take a look at the interior. The keyhole is a visible type and the lock is a potch. When you open the door, it looks like this. The top of the trim, this area is ticking. I think this is fine for a car that is used hard. Lock pin is also unpainted, but the center part is covered with these solid synthetic leather soft pads and the stitching is orange. This area is also piano black and the inner door handles are satin plated. So it's cool to the touch, which is nice in this area. The elbow rests are also softly padded. The base of this window switch has a carbon-like pattern. The back door windows are not compatible with one-touch opening, only the driver's side. I'm not sure this area is worth the price. The grip here is, you're not going to get out. This area is also ticking. It doesn't look like it has a courtesy lamp, etc. The door pockets are designed to hold drinks and the speakers are located in the door pockets. Hinges are made of press. And the higher grade GSR will have leather seats, which is a nice look for this area. This is the difference. Base grade will have fabric seats and it's power seat compatible and it's got lumbar support. Good in this area. Side steps are also provided and even the back seats have side steps. So let's get in. I like that there is a proper grip on the A pillar. When the sun shines, the moon shines. When the door is closed, it makes this sound. This is what the interior foreground of the Mitsubishi Triton GSR looks like. No, the texture is surprisingly good. Let's take a closer look. This navigation system looks familiar. It has the same nine inch navigation system as the Outlander. This all means no more factory installed options. So you only have to choose the grade. And this navigation system is also standard equipment. So the nice thing about Triton is that once you buy it, there are almost no option costs beyond the vehicle price. This is the same navigation system as Nissan's Note Aura and others, so the performance is second to none. I've been using it for a while now, and it's super easy to use. It also supports split-screen display and so on. With the volume knob, and this one has a tuning knob. This area also has switches and a camera. It has a proper 360-din camera, and the resolution is nice. This is nice. And the hazard lights. It's in an easy to press position. The louvers of the air conditioner are also quite heavy duty, so they are very easy to operate. This area is also painted in a gunmetal finish. I don't know if it's the paint or the material, but the texture isn't bad. Is this area a soft pad? Oh, it's a soft pad, like here. The texture is pretty good. I see the dial knob for the air conditioner is here. Independent left and right air conditioners are installed. And the air volume is adjusted here. And the ignition switch is attached here. He said there are USB type C, type A, and both support communication. Compatible with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. And this is the lock button. It's the lock button when you're going over rough roads. There's a cigar socket 12 of V accessory socket here, and the key is a conventional Mitsubishi key, like this. This area is a place to put things, not a place to just put them and charge them. I wonder if it can be a dealer option. I'm told it's not a factory option. The shift is a straight type, quite bulky, with a proper shift boot, and the base is also piano black. The dirt is a bit noticeable though. If you put it in R at, I'll switch to a 360 Degen camera. Put it in D and then turn it to the left to switch to plus minus sequential mode. The side brake is a manual one and the boot is in place. And here it is decorated with plating. If it were Triton, I'd be inclined to use the side brake. But Land Cruisers and others are getting electric parking brakes these days. And here is a real rough road driving mode selector where you can change gears by pressing and turning the dial.
And here is the drive mode selector, which allows you to switch between normal, gravel, and snow drive modes. That's what I like about Mitsubishi, that they can produce pictures like this. I thought this would be nice in the Outlander, but this picture is also available in this Triton. And behind that, you have two bare drink holders, no nails or anything. And the armrests. When you open the armrest console, there are no sockets inside, only the bottom is covered with felt. There's nothing special about adjusting the length or anything like that. Then the passenger seat with these grips properly attached to the A pillar. This area is a soft pad, not a ticking hard plastic. But here you have a soft pad with stitching. This upper glove box can also be opened properly to hold tissues and other items. And the glove box can hold the vehicle inspection certificate, etc. And the meter hood is made of hard plastic. And the steering wheel is perforated leather wrapped in genuine leather. The design is tough, isn't it? This part and others are also Amiyami. The left side here is a switch that switches the meter information. The operational information in this area is similar to that of Outlander. It may not be possible to display a map in the meter. I'll check later. There's no head-up display or anything like that, although it's an analog two lens gauge. The design is pretty good. Considering the character of Triton, I think this meter design is fine. The center is a 7-inch LCD. The headlining is made of a non-woven material. The material in this area of the overhead is resin. There is a card holder here and no lighting. This side is soft padded here and there's an air conditioning louver here and there's a pull out cup holder here. That's good because you can never have too many cup holders. There is an illumination switch for the gauges, an idle stop off switch and a lane departure off switch. I forgot to introduce earlier that the accelerator pedal is a suspended pedal. The footrests are a little bit too narrow. Next, regarding the overhead, it seems that there is no digital mirror available for the roof mirror. It does have automatic glare protection. It has a sunglass holder, and the room lamp is unfortunately a bean bulb. If I were you, I'd replace it. But it does have an SOS call, so it's connected. Pressing it bails out. It is not a bailout, but an emergency switch that leads to an operator. You also have a circulator. I don't know if it is a circulator or a rear air conditioner, but I'll take a look at the rear seat later. Then let's look at the rear seats. Locking and unlocking is not possible with the rear seat door. This is what it looks like when you open the door. It doesn't open to 90 degrees, but it opens quite a bit. This area is also hard plastic in the... Only the elbow rests are softly padded. Stitched. This area has a decorative panel, piano black, and the inner donor handle has a cool satin plating. This area has a carbon-like pattern and the window does not support one-touch opening, but it opens to about 90%. There are drink holders and door pockets and this is where the speakers are. Hinges are made of press. I'll go on to look at the seats, but the headrests are fixed. Rearward visibility in the back seat doesn't look very good. From here on, it is already a cargo area. I wonder if I can pull it down. I tried folding down the back seat and it all collapses from here. If you pull not only here but also the string in the middle, it will fall down like this. I think if you pull the headrest out, it will just slam down like this. So let's get in. Step on the side step, grab a grip here, and yo 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 yo. This is what the door closed sounded like. It's pretty close to vertical. Driver's seat in front of the rear knee is about 1.5 fists, according to my driving position of 173 comes. Surprisingly decent seating. You have good toe leg room, seat back pockets on the driver and passenger side, and an upper pocket on the passenger side only. Pretty good. Uh, no air conditioning outlets, etc. At the rear end of the center console, 
You have an accessory socket and USB Type-C and Type-A. The overhang of the centre tunnel is about 5cm to less than 10cm. It's not so narrow in front of the knees and feet, but I feel that the seat back here is much more standing than that. Also, the shoulder height is such that it sticks out slightly for me. Armrests are also provided for the rear seats. It's pretty hard to pull off. That would be two drink holders in the back seat. It is quite a bit of pressure in this area of the head, and the head height is just high enough to hit the hair a little bit. There is a gap of about 1.5 fists above the head, but the sides are slightly protruding, so if you put your head close to this side, your hair will hit it a little. You see the grips here. Is this a circulator? Is it an air conditioner vent? But it's nice to have an air vent like this. And the overhead is... Oh, and the circulator switch is here. Now we have the wind in our sails. It is like being able to adjust the airflow up or down in four steps. He said it doesn't have rear air conditioning, but it does have a circulator. This would be nice. The room lamps are naturally bean bulbs for the rear seats as well. Finally, let's take a look at the cargo area here. It's like it opens from here. Oh, it's pretty heavy. It's like it suddenly slammed down. This is what it looks like when the cargo deck is folded down. I heard that the bottom of the GSR is made of a dirt preventive material, which is a feature of this higher grade GSR. This means that these retrofit parts can be added to the base grade GLS as well. This is also a complete cargo area, and the material seems to be quite resistant to scratches and other damage. There is also a hook here, with the Mitsubishi logo on it. I've never driven a pickup truck or anything like that. This is where it's supposed to fall down like this. It looks like it is hung by this wire. It's like it takes a lot of strength to bring it back. I would like to tick off the volume here as well, but I feel that it is spacious enough, and I think that a pickup truck like this would be good for marine sports, winter sports, and other dirty loads. This diagonal object is called a styling bar. This equipment is only available on the higher grade GSR. If you want to install a canopy, please choose the lower grade GLS. So what do you think of Mitsubishi's new Triton? It's a bit bulky, but that's what they like about it, and sales have been pretty good. The Omiya branch of Mitsubishi Motors East Japan, which is cooperating with us for this report, has this vehicle, so if you are interested in this vehicle, please visit there and take a test drive or get a quote. The time to buy a car or anything else is when you want it. Buy what you want and turn the economy around. Now let's get started with the car buying tool once or two to whet your appetite. Stay tuned for the next installment.